Well, how bad is crime on the subways? Today, police say the robbers were getting robbed. Police say that Garnell Thompson stole almost $1,300 in cash and jewelry from passengers on a J train in Brooklyn. Passengers chased him off the train at Hughes Street and caught him. While he was penned down, police say that Julio Malava went through his pockets and stole the jewelry. Now both men are facing charges. A U.S. senator was also riding the subway today talking about crime, Ron Clayton. Central America is simply too close and the strategic stakes are too high for us to ignore the danger of governments seizing power there with ideological and military ties to the Soviet Union. There's a great deal of fighting going on. I'm hoping very much to go back in December. A State Department official said that there is a strong emotional reaction to the murders in the United States, particularly in Catholic congregations. This country today announced it's suspending all economic and military aid to El Salvador. in New York. Get out of the limousine, and they went inside the gate there, and then all of a sudden they heard five, six shots, and that was it. Four cops pulled John Lennon out and put him into the back of a police car, and his mouth, he was bleeding from his mouth, and he, he, it was a terrible sight. He was dead on, at the time of his arrival. Numerous resuscitative efforts were made after his arrival in the hospital, including transfusions, surgical procedures, Witnesses told police Lennon was shot near the door to his apartment building as he and Yoko Ono returned from a recording studio. Lennon's building is home for many celebrities. Strangers waiting for a glimpse of some resident are not uncommon. The man accused of shooting Lennon dropped his gun afterward and waited for police to arrive. He, Mr. Chapman, has been about the Dakota for the last several days. He was able to obtain an autograph on an album from Mr. Lennon as he left for the recording studio where he was going. He remained at that location all evening, waiting for Mr. Lennon to come back. Computers have always scared me. I, I grew up believing that only scientists and engineers could understand them. Then I started to work with Apple personal computers, and I learned how easy it is to use one. You can do sales forecasting and uh, general bookkeeping and even financial charts and graphs. See? Frankly, uh, at the moment, I have no reason to do all of these things, but who knows? Show business being what it is, I might. Apple, the personal computer. Nine to five has the critics raving on overtime. Bingo! The comedy hit of the season, says CBS Radio. I'm no fool. I killed the boss. You think they're not going to fire me for a thing like that? Playboy magazine calls it the liveliest office party of the year. And the New York Daily News says Jane Fonda, Lily Tomlin, and Dolly Parton make a terrific team. Nine to five from 20th Century Fox, rated PG. Now playing at a selected theater near you. The Bronx Bull, the Raging Bull. Let's hear for the great Jake LaMotta, ladies and gentlemen. Take off alone. 